Hello YouTube people Today I wanna show you my Parnas collection Well actually no, actually today I wanna do a review on this golden uh, Parnas chronograph And I already did reviews on all of, the, all of these watches I'll put links in the description But just for fun, you know what Let's try them all before I get to this one So first of all this beauty golden parnas with date function how does it look on the sun and let's put it on the wrist this is beautiful watch this is very very beautiful watch and the bracelet bracelet especially i would even say that this this bracelet is even better looking than the watch itself golden watches don't look very good on me because i'm Northman with very pale skin and right now my skin is just as brown as it can ever get because it's the end of the summer But either way I still enjoy golden watches very very much. I have a sp soft spot Soft spot in my heart for golden watches somehow. I just love the look of them. Okay, let's go to the stainless steel version Oh, this is the most beautiful watch I currently have probably definitely competes for the number one spot it just looks incredible incredible the bracelet and the watch itself wow 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 i'm always blown away how beautiful this watch is, is even though it's been over a year i have this watch i'm still looking at this watch like it's first time <laughs> i like it so much so much very very high recommendation to buy this watch don't even think twice buy this watch it's a very good watch it's a very beautiful watch okay let's try let's try this one so this one is kind of you know like special occasions watch my dressy watch and this one is the one i have been worn for the past two months single watch basically sometimes i change to try out other watches but this is my go-to watch that i put on on the wrist in the morning and take it off in the evening i i love it love it love it it's just such a great watch and there are so many things that i can't really show you on camera but it does have very shiny nice edges on the dial and it just it just sprinkles and sparkles like like it's incredible this watch is so beautiful and looks sporty yet it looks classy and elegant i mean i just love it love it love it and this chronograph function i do use it from time to time to time my things whenever i'm boiling something cooking or whatever i don't know just i actually use this chronograph so this is my daily now let's get to another very very beautiful watch this one so it's the same watch it just has you know this shiny bezel and initially I was afraid to wear this watch because I was afraid to scratch this bezel But I have worn it. I have scratched it a little bit But to my surprise scratches don't go really deep on this bezel somehow and because it is so shiny It's it's actually very difficult to see those scratches On camera you definitely I'm gonna see those scratches in the video. It is so shiny that it just outshines any of those scratches it's it's very beautiful watch very very beautiful watch i like it a lot as well but i just like like the feel of durability of this ceramic bezel of this one i just like the idea that it, it i'm gonna scratch at all this one is fine as well such a beautiful watch well i obviously like parnas chronographs and the reason why i bought a golden one as well is because of this watch it is so beautiful so i wanted to have golden chronograph as well so that's why i bought this one and do i like it uh, yeah it's not bad but there are things that i don't really like too much for example in this angle you can see uh, sapphire crystal edges white edges like next to the bezel i don't like how they look like on the golden watch also uh, those white indexes on a golden dial I so wish those indexes were black. It would look so much better with black indexes so instead of those white ones. And the loom isn't really that great. So why are they white? Why do you even bother, you know? Just put black indexes and it would look badass. It actually does look a little bit badass. Now with the golden bracelet. 
it's nice it's shiny it's almost too much too much you know <laughs> a little bit but I'm I don't know looks nice pretty cool yeah so that's how rose gold looks like now let's switch to the yellow gold I would say that I don't have personal preference they both look great I can't really tell which one I like better <laughs> I like them both so it's like I don't know <laughs> it depends on the mood I guess but okay let's jump back once again to the rose gold hold on I put them next to each other yeah the color difference is really noticeable right so the, the main reason why I like those Parnis chronographs so much is because well basically for the size because they're relatively small measuring the bezel they are only 38.5 millimeters in diameter lug to lug is just 46.6 well the thickness is 13.2 millimeters and they have a little bit of a belly they are, so they are not super stable but because they're so small and so short they are fine I don't feel any discomfort such a nice watches now for the end of the video I took this watch uh, watch off the bracelet bracelet is fine sharp not sharp edges it feels okay I just don't like those screws uh, that links are held up by screws because they could be a little bit difficult to remove and this one was the problem as well it was difficult to remove they were a little bit stuck so the clasp itself is is very nice doesn't have sharp edges micro adjustments very easy to adjust double pushers very very easy to close and open and even if you open it it still looks very nice and it has this micro extension which could come handy on a hot day so no complaints about the bracelet about the clasp only i wish they would be connected by simple pins instead of screws and the watch itself now let me tell you the reason why i'm not putting this watch on my website thomaswatchreviews.com into keepers i'm putting this watch into not bad because i think there is a room for improvements the main reason is because i don't like white indexes on the rose gold dial and white lines on the hands black would look a lot better would look cool and another reason why what i don't like about this watch is when you look uh, on on the edge uh, sapphire crystal is sticking out and i'm not sure if that's sapphire crystal edge you're seeing this gray white color or is this the gasket under the sapphire crystal but it just i don't know it looks a little bit unfinished this sapphire crystal is sticking out and making this edge very very noticeable on this rose gold dial for example i'll, sh I'll show you it's the same thing with uh, other partners watches but with the white dial you don't see this edge of sapphire crystal it's just it's fine you know but on the rose gold watch it's very noticeable and it, it just doesn't look nice so because of white indexes white lines on the hands and this gray edge of sapphire crystal i'm putting this watch into not bad because i think there is a room for improvements so anyway either way it's a little bit you know it's a cool watch it, it looks interesting and if you like ro uh, golden watches you should try this one as well so yeah it's not a bad watch so okay thank you for watching have a beautiful day goodbye